Hi, welcome back to Walkthrough Wednesday. My name's Alan. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm doing a walkthrough of the Gnostic Drill. This is a deck I got last week and I did an unboxing for and was so impressed with it that I knew that this week I wanted to make it part of my Walkthrough Wednesday video. So thanks for being here. Stick around. We'll take a look at the cards. I'm gonna try to zoom in as close as I can because these cards are just amazing pieces of art and I don't really know if you can see them very well. So I just wanna make sure you get the best view that you can. So we start off with the Fool. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's scoot these over, I think. So that way the actual card is in the, in the middle of the screen. The Fool. The Magician. There's just so much detail to these cards. Having started to read the book, there's a lot going on with this deck. The High Priestess. Empress. Emperor. Hierophant. The Lovers. Chariot. Here we do have Justice as eight. The Hermit. Fortune. Strength. Hanged man. The end named, which is the death card. Temperance. The Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, so just a little bit different. the Sun, Judgment. So that's your major account. So this side. Next we're gonna look at the suit of fire, the ace of fire. Get it back in the center. The two of fire. As we do a walkthrough, the point is just kind of just to kind of show the deck. Uh, because there might be some people who haven't bought it, who didn't back the Kickstarter are thinking about it. So just a chance to see it. But what this deck really does need, it's more of a deep dive. So that when you can kind of talk about it, that because each card's got titles and there's a lot of information in it. Reading through the book, one thing that's really interesting is the story about his relationship with the painter and how they've known each other for so long and how the work came to be under his control and the conditions of it. Nine of fire. Ten. And this just the colors are just stunning in this deck. It's um has a real quiet sense to the deck. Mm. But it's, it's, it's real articulate. The girl. The boy of fire. The woman. Man. 
Then we're going to the suit of cups, or suit of water. Water is cups to me. The ace. The two of water. Again, I just, I really do like the color-coded background, the borders. Three of water. Which does not seem like your kind of traditional three of cups. So there's, there's just, there's a lot going on this. This deck is a little bit more um, serious, I guess, I'd say. There isn't a lot of whimsy in this deck from what I've seen so far which, you know, would really kind of influence the type of readings you would do with it. Eight of water. Nine of water. Ten. A girl. One thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go at a pace where you can really get a sense of the card, where you kind of look at it and see. This is not one of my flash reviews. Woman. The man. So I'm going to set these aside. When it comes to the deck, um, it seems like there's some hints at nudity but not actual any of that, you know, you kind of see. This, this image is very interesting with the scissors and the cutting for the ace of air, two of air, three of air, four, Six of air. This is becoming one of my favorite images in the deck. Whenever it came from, it was, was originally delivered, it came with a, with a postcard, which I'd mentioned. And I didn't realize that it was this image. And um, it said the Numinous Tarot. The Numinous Tarot had been considered for the name of the deck. But when the creator realized that there were already three Numinous Tarots, they stuck with the Gnostic Tarot. Because the painter had referred to it as the Numinous Tarot on occasion. Seven of air. Eight of air. Nine of air. Ten of air. The girl. And I really just like the, the the double meaning of the hero and tyrant for the man or the king of swords. I really think that really kind of captures some of the duality that you can get in that card. Now, the final suit of Earth. Ace of Earth. Two of Earth. The cards are no doubt beautiful. One thing I really do wonder is if they are too busy with too many elements. See. But when you look in the book, it really does lay out the images and the different things that are in the pictures. And so it adds that meaning, so it makes it kind of worth it. But in a kind of a day-to-day -day reading, I don't know how, how that, if it, if it might be too cluttered. For air, for earth, excuse me. Five of earth. But I really do get a sense that this isn't going to be necessarily a daily reading deck. A six of Earth. 
there looks to be some really interesting spreads in the book and so one thing I think I will do is in a future video once I've kind of gotten this a little bit more under my belt I will film a couple of those spreads too to kind of see how the deck works and plays and reads Eight of Earth The Nine Ten of Earth Girl, the boy, the woman, and the man. Again, the uh, the Gnostic Hero. Again, I, like I said, I I love this deck fanned out. So again, just. To, the card texture is just great. The feel is perfect. Definitely, um, if you're looking for something that is a little bit, it, ha it does have a real spiritual sense to it. If you're looking for something that will take a little bit of time, it isn't going to be an easy dip into the deck. The book is chunky, but that's because it's it's going. To, I think it's going to be necessary. Thanks for watching my walkthrough of the Gnostic Tarot. If you liked it, please subscribe, like. Let me know what you think is best about the deck. Thanks for paying attention.